I'm Anne Marie Williams. I'm here to give you some tips on painting. On the first segment, I did the sky with some nice pretty puffy clouds. And what I'd like to do next is put some trees in and a little bit of a woods and put a little waterfall and a stream coming down. So we're gonna start with some trees in the background. I'm gonna take my filbert brush and just go in and get some nice dark brown and put a big fat tree right here. And there's another smaller tree on this side, a little skinnier. Another tree in the background. Mix it with a little bit of white to just give it a lighter color so it looks like it's more in the background. I have my script liner brush, which is a very thin brush. I'm just gonna get in here, wet it a little, and a little bit of terpenoid. Terpenoid is what I clean my brushes in and it's an odorless thinner, so it doesn't smell. And when you thin it down, it's much easier. You can get a nice thin brush stroke, especially when you're doing the branches and the coming off the tree. Whenever you're doing the branches, you always wanna give it what I call a little shoulder to lean on. You don't wanna have the branch just coming straight out from the tree. It usually goes up on an angle. And I, I like to wiggle them a bit too. The base, there'll be some bushes, so I'm not worried as much about the base of the tree, but we wanna give it a nice body. This is what takes a little time, but it's a lot of fun to do. And I, like I said, you just wiggle, wiggle the brush a little, keep it nice and thin. As I roll it through the paint, I twirl it. And when I twirl it, I pull it, and that way the paint comes into a nice fine point on the brush, and it's easier to do. That looks pretty good. I'll give this guy, well, I'll give this guy over here, because he's closer to a little bit of paint and some branches. And at the base of the trees, we'll stick a few bushes in. And there's a little waterfall gonna come down in here. But we wanna basically just get the background in. And now this one over here is a little bit lighter, it's further away. Whoops, a little dark here. We'll soften it down a bit. That's better. And we'll give him some branches also. And there's some other trees back here that just way back in the distance. When we put in our little bushes and that around there, that'll just soften them right in. Okay. I'm gonna take my one inch brush. It has a little blue and white on it from when I was doing the sky, which is fine. I'm just gonna pull it through the green and then a little bit of brown and a little bit of white. Soften it down a bit because these bushes are gonna be in the background and I don't want them real, real bright. Here we go. It's at the base of all these trees. It's kind of fun to do, just nice and easy. I don't want to put anything in there. Now the faraway trees, the branches are going to be a little bit softer, not as dark. You can see it back there. Or we can even stick a couple of high bushes there. Then as I'm coming forward, they're going to get a little darker. When we're working on the wet on wet, we have to be careful because we pick up some of that white in the clouds and we just have to touch lightly and it makes it much easier. This tree's a little closer. And always remember there's some branches that come straight out. When we're doing the tree, we don't wanna just do in the 
side of the tree going around, we want to have some coming straight out. The tree doesn't have branches that just go out to the side. And a lot of times my students will get uh, confused and they'll always want to just go around and I have to say, you know, make sure you get in the middle and, and go over the top and through the center. A lot of branches on that one. Okay, and this one here is nice and close too. So here's some branches coming off, leaves coming off of this one. And as it goes up to the top, go beyond the branch just a little. Because there's little tiny branches that you really can't see from a distance. And people are always nervous about when they're painting and they're, you know, looking at it so close. But you have to remember most artwork is appreciated from six to 10 feet away. And you try not to just fret over what's up close. I hear some far away bushes back here. Yeah. That looks pretty nice. And I'm just gonna put some grass in along the sides and then we're gonna put our stream in and a little bit of a waterfall. So the next section we're going to finish in putting our stream and we're going to put the rest of the grass in and some rocks and uh, it'll finish the picture. Hope you can join me and have a good day. Thanks for sharing this with me.